everybody. Have you seen mold in houses? Perhaps you have some in yours too. In this video, we will show you microscopic images of fungi from samples collected in residential places in order to introduce you to organisms with which people often share their homes. We will also demonstrate how samples can be prepared and investigated to identify the species and find out if they include especially dangerous toxic fungi. The goal of this video is not just to warn you about that nasty mold, but also to reveal a variety and often unexpected beauty of microscopic fungi. First thing you need to know is that there is no good mold in a house, period. If it's not plain toxic, it's allergenic and will drain the immune system. Avoid moisture and leaks because this is how mold gets a hold of buildings. Fungi gorge mostly on plant material called cellulose, the main component of plant cell wall, and 40 to 50% of wood is cellulose. The chemical called capsaicin that makes the peppers like chili hot were likely developed by plants not to deter animals from eating them, but rather as an antifungal agent against pathogenic fungi, Fusarium. The scientific name for long filamentous branch of fungi is Hypha. It performs multiple functions like absorbing nutrients from a substrate, which may include host cells. Most of the household mold species reproduce asexually forming specialized branches, conidiophores, that carry spores called conidia. Conidia are well-protected spores, and those trapped in deep layers of ancient glaciers, as deep as 900 meters, were revitalized from ice core samples dating back 157,000 years. These include the common species like Penicillium and Cladosporium. The life cycle of microscopic fungi is often obscure. Some fungi form special sacs instead of conidiophores, and those fungi are called ascomycota, from the Greek word ascus, meaning sac. Here are a few examples. Genus of Ascobulus, genus of Ascotrecha, genus of Chitomium, Neurospora, Podospora, Pyrenocheta, Sordaria, and Sacobolus. This particular species of Aspergillus genus, Aspergillus nindulans, does develop sacs, while most of the species of this infamous genus have conidiophores. Dangerous black mold belongs to this genus as well. This is how it looks like under the microscope. These fungi produce potent mycotoxins, and in rare cases, black mold can cause lung disease, aspergillosis. This very mold was found in the pharaoh's tombs, but it more commonly infects plants, like onions. As it is often the case, dangerous stuff can be useful, and according to Wikipedia, Aspergillus is cultured industrially to aid with production of citric acid, gluconic acid, and fructose corn syrup, as well as with clarification of cider and wine. Even in silver mining, black mold helps to extract silver via biosorption. Isn't it amazing? Another fungus with common name black mold is Stachybotrys. To produce the images you see, the fungi were collected with a technique known as tape lift. When the piece of transparent office tape is pressed into the suspected surface and the parts of fungi like spores, conidia to be precise, and fragments of hypha stick to it. Then the sample has to be stained because most of fungi are colorless. Special mixtures like lactophenol cotton blue are used. And this not only gives the color to the images, but also helps kill potentially dangerous organisms in the specimen. The stained sample is attached to the glass side and examined under the microscope by trained and accredited experts. Even though the fungi on these images were identified by such an expert, the classification may change. So, 
Feel free to leave a comment if you notice any discrepancies. Now to wrap it up. If you feel an unexplained headache, have problems with sleep, pain in muscles or joints, experience frequent infection, it would not be a bad idea to check whether it is caused by mold in your residence. The fungus microsporum, for instance, is being blamed for hair loss. Any leaks? Treat them seriously and make sure to get rid of affected wall panels. Mold can grow inside of them, undetected for years. Thanks for watching! Do not forget to check out a few useful links about mold associated problems in the description and watch other interesting videos on our channel. Good luck!